Hello, my people. How on a day? How on a day? The weather seems to be nice. The weather seems to be nice. Let's do this. A few minutes before we go. Yes. I tell you now, my people. You don't hear the letters. <laughs> of course, you know my name. My name is Insima. I'm from Akwaibom. Akwaibom is Biafra. Cross Rivers is Biafra. And we must continue to protect and defend our land. Have you not heard the letters? That Abagari, you know the Abagari, that man. They call him whatever they call him. The Abagari and the U.S. court. The truth is coming out. You see this man that has been going about in Biafra land, arresting and killing our people. Now, do you not hear that the U.S. court has sanctioned him? In fact, the U.S. court has ordered for his arrest through the FBI because he has connections with the Hush Puppies uh, investigation of, uh, of uh, fraud, uh, fraudulent activities in the U.S. Did you not see what we have been talking about? The Abagari of this world, because he's a ginger weed, he has brothers and sisters in the presidency. He has been going about killing and adopting and arresting our, our youth in Biafra land. He started in, uh, in Imo State, Biafra land. And then they expanded it to Anambra, expanded it to Enugu, Abia. You see, they have been arresting our youth in Biafra land. Why themselves? Why they themselves? They are the criminals. Abagari is sanctioned by the U.S. court because he is involved with fraudulent activities. You know, the court has sanctioned him. Even, even as he has uh, brought out a statement that he has nothing to do with, he denied the allegations of the, of the U.S. court. You know, citing that, uh, that they only responded to a distress uh, call from Hush Puppy at the time. You see? But all I'm saying, because Hush Puppy explained how we gave him money, you know, loss of money. And I believe he must have given him lots of money because hotspot please spend money. Money is available. He spend it as, as many as possible. And uh, he flew, hotspot according to the news, that this man, Abba Gary, flew all the way to Dubai to meet hotspot And they had a lot of uh, enjoyment. They were enjoying it. Mm. They, they were enjoying. They were enjoying. Now he's coming to deny it. You see? I'm telling you the truth. If there is anybody that wants to know the truth, this Abagari of this world, including Erofi, uh, mention the, all the Mieti Allah, mention all of them, uh, 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 mention all these guys, all, all, all of their names, uh, what's that? Lai Mohammed, they are the ones that have been committing the highest crime in this world. Because there is nobody holding them responsible. That is why they have that power. Because, because their brothers and sisters, they are the one in government today. That is why they have that power. But they are the ones that have been abducting. If somebody should reveal to you the atrocities that these men have committed, the killings that these men have committed, you know, the, 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 the what do they call it? They call them unknown god men, unknown god men. If they, if they tell you the truth, how this thing started, you'll be, you'll be shocked that all these men, you know, are, are involved. Today, we are now hearing about Abagari. You know, he was walking around in, in, in Biafra land as if he's a saint, as if he has not committed any crime. Killing people, ordering the soldiers to destroy farmlands of, uh, of our brothers and sisters in Biafra land. Do you not see it now? You see? They say, ah, Fulani don't do anything with fraud, but we are seeing it now. That was how they said Buari, you know, that Buari has repented. We know what happened to NMPC when Buari was the head, as at that time, even when I was not born, 1986, 1987, thereabouts, I can't remember. You know, we know the crimes that these people committed, but nobody has been able to hold them to book. Yeah, he must, yes, my brother, he must go and answer the U.S. court. He must go and answer FBI. In fact, they have ordered him to be detained, sanctioned for, the, for, for, for involving in the fraudulent activities with Hush Puppy. We don't know, but at the end of the day, we will still know the truth. Okay, the statement that is released or recently released by Abakari that he was not, is not part of it, he did not collect any money, nobody asked for money. That is how they always deny. They always deny it. Even Hush Puppy denied. The host probably denied that he never had any activities to do with all these things, with the allegation. But just yesterday, he confessed. He, he, he pleaded guilty. That is how Abba Gari will deny. You know, today he's denying it. 
all of them always deny that they never have anything to do with the crime but at the end of the day we will find out that they have been always been the one sponsoring it who is sponsoring the Boko Haram who is sponsoring the killing that is going on who is sponsoring the killing of our brothers and sisters in Biafra land it is all these men through the help of uh, the politicians in the east through the help of uh, the, the Igbo politicians or the South East politicians and leaders these men are the ones doing it today you can see about Gary you know caliphanting around Biafra land through the help of uh, the Imo, Imo State uh, Supreme Court administrator okay he is the one caliphanting he has been sponsoring that man you know he has been invading so many places in Biafra land killing our youth now the truth is coming out gradually and he is coming to deny that he's not involved. But the reason why I'm doing this video is so that we will understand the atrocities that these men have been committing, so that we will know that what our leader, Master Nam Dekano, has been saying is the truth. These men, they are out to just destroy us, steal our resources, and collect everything that belongs to us because there is, no, there is nobody to hold them responsible. Their brothers and sisters, they are in the presidency today. That is why they are going scot-free. Who knows the kind of crime that Lai Mohammed has committed? Who knows the kind of uh, crime that, uh, what was that his name? Erofai, Erofai of a man. Who knows the kind of crime that these men have committed? We don't know yet because they are brothers and sisters. They are still in power. Soon we're going to know. Soon it's going to be out because there is nothing that is hidden under the sun. It might take longer time. That is why I want to remind you. Remember, guys, our leader, Mazenam Bikano, asked us to be reading the Psalms. Today is the day 60 of the Psalms. Remember, day 60. 60 minus 150 days because it's going to be like 150 days. Yeah? So today is the day 60 of the 150 days that our leader commanded us, commanded us to read the Psalms. So don't forget, these things are very important because there is appointed time. When the appointed time comes, all the hidden truth will be revealed. You see all this thing that they are doing? Our leader have already declared that at the end of the day, the truth will be revealed. We will all know the truth and Biafra will be restored. We know already the truth, but because sometimes our people, the people that are supposed to represent us, the, the people that are supposed to do the writing, they have refused to do the writing. They are, they are working with the Janjaweed to, to continue to, uh, to kill us and to make our people to suffer. That is why we are suffering. The truth is that the reason why we are suffering is because of those, our, uh, our politicians and leaders. You know, even as we try to say that they are not our leaders, but they are the ones speaking on behalf of us. You understand? They are the ones deceiving us. Yes, they have always been the one deceiving us through the help of, uh, through through the help of uh, uh, what do they call it? Through the help of our our politicians in the east, you know, conniving, conniving, and collecting money and sharing money. <laughs> Did you know that Abba Gary collect money from hospital or hospital? No, we didn't know. Why didn't they report it in the news? If it's, if it's something that was genuine, why didn't they report it in the news that uh, there was a distress call from Hush Puppy? Uh, that is how every government, every uh, security outfit, they do it. When there is something wrong, they will put it in the news. Everybody will know that something has happened somewhere, somewhere. Why is the own police, the police in Nigeria, why are they different? Why are they different? They will hide and go and commit crime and they say, oh, they did not commit crime. They will wear so, uh, army uniform, they will use, uh, because they are, they are police people. They will use the opportunity and be invading our communities and be killing our youth and they will go scot free. Simple because uh, the politician, the so-called politician that we have in the East is not doing anything. But of course, things, are, things is unfolding. More things will be unfolding, right? But at the end of the day, Biafra will be restored. So guys, this is just an update from me. I believe that Abba Gary is involved. As long as Hush Puppy has mentioned his name, he is involved. He should go and respond to the FBI. He should go and answer his call. Just like they are also happy when 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 they indict or uh, our people you know when 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 Kelechi as they say we move together Biafra Mars it is, it is. yes just like they are happy when they arrest our people kidnap our people just for nothing you know just like they keep up kidnap our leader Mazinam he said I wish if US uh, FBI can come for him of course they already issued the order they don't need to they have already issued the order and actions will be taken you understand me so my people uh, stay blessed, stay motivated, because at the end of all these things, uh, Biafra will be restored. I remain your humble boy. My name is Nsima. I'm from Akwaibom. Akwaibom is Biafra. And we must continue to uh, protect and defend our land. Uh, I see all your comments. Uche, Okidi. I hope they won't also rope or be in.
<laughs> oh, okay. You are you afraid if Obi will be put put there? Prince Emmanuel said, Yes, you are right. Uh, Man said, Darlington said, We must intensify the campaign on this thief. All of them are thief. All of them, all those guys that have been talking, they are all thief. Malami is also involved. Yes, I wanted to mention it. Malami mentioned all of them. When they commit crime, nobody hears about it. At the end of the day, when they now accuse them, when they are now involved, they will not start talking. You see, now nobody have heard about what Abakari did with, with Hush Puppy. Nobody heard about it. Now the truth is coming and they are beginning to tell us the things that they have been doing in the secret. You see, that is how they have been doing it. Let me tell you, one day it's going to happen. You see, all these are our leaders in the Southeast. All this thing that they have been doing, you know, they are working with the Janja with people, selling us out, denying us and everything. One day it will happen. When it will happen, we will not all know. When it will happen, they, they will not be able to defend themselves. So my people, remain blessed. My name is Insima. I'm from Akwaibom. Akwaibom is Biafra. Crossovers is Biafra. And we must continue to protect and defend our land. Stay blessed until I come your way next time. Bye for now, guys.